Okay, there. Ho, ho, ho. Alright, come on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Welcome back to another episode. So today we're targeting some halibut with some live bait. I am joined by Frank. He's out there right now. And we actually, uh, I dropped a sabiki rig right down and I got a fish on right now. So we're gonna load up on some bait. Uh, hopefully we can find some mackerel, Spanish mackerel, uh, Pacific mackerel, or even, uh, you know, some uh, jack smell. And you know, we're gonna drop it down. We're gonna drop two lines for uh, halibut. It's quite windy today and the wind's pushing outwards, but the current is going inwards. All right, what is this? Is this a lizard fish? I think we got a lizard fish. Wow, that's, oh, and we got a perch, look at that. We got a perch too, on the sabiki. I don't know if we can use a, oh, these little lizard fish, they got teeth. They got some teethers. Well, I don't know, do you guys use lizard fish as bait for halibut? Let me know, I'm gonna let this guy go because I want some mackerel, I want some jack smell, some bigger baits than that. My fish finder is not working at the moment, but we're gonna try and fish the, let's try to get 40, 40 to 60 feet. The scope's showing some bait balls, but so far it's just been these little brown skinny things, I don't know what they are, like a lizard fish or something like that. That's it's what I got. For bait. Yeah, I got a lizard fish. Yeah, there's like a bunch of them around. Wind, it, it, was, it was up when I got here, then it chilled when we were coming, when we were launching, and then, yeah, and then it kicked up. There's another lizard fish. I got squid. First time I ever catching one of these things, and now I'm catching five of them or four of them. I don't know. Do you, does anybody use lizard fish for bait for halibut? Has everybody? But has anybody used it for bait? Like I don't see why not. Some more lizard fish. You guys look like little torpedoes. Ooh, they're a little slimy. But we got some little teeth. Yeah, look at those teeth. <laughs> See the seal? back 
toward the launch. So, we'll see. I feel I'm a little more confident in the mackerel than the squid. Oh. <laughs> we got a sand dab. It's like a little uh, baby cousin of halibut. Little flat guys. I usually catch a ton of these on the sabiki. Uh, after your big cousin. Okay. We got a Spanish mackerel. A little baby guy. I'll save him. Because I'm running out of squid. I think I've already gone through like four pieces of squid so far. I don't know if I got bitten off or if it just fell off. Ooh, there's a fish. Yeah, that's a fish. Yep. Just in case. Doesn't feel heavy. Oh, okay, there's some weight. I saw that in the corner of my eye, the big old boom. Okay, there's some weight. Let's get this tennis ball off. I still got the mackerel. This is on the squid with the hoochie. Oh, we got a Petroli Soul. Nice. Oh, we got a sand dab on with it too. There's a sand dab right here. So this right here, it's a flounder. It's a well, Petroli Soul, one of the, look, look at the beautiful spots on this thing. There is no, no size limit and I think no bag limit as well. There are no bag or size limits to the Petroli Soul or Starry Flounder. Uh, the sorry flounders look even cooler than, than, than this, but I don't know if I, I hope I'm saying that right, Petrali Soul. But look at these little spots. Look at this gorgeous. And like all flat footed, uh, flat footed, all flat fish. You know, they got the brown on this side with the white bottom, you know, blended, blending in with the sea floor. And these things are gorgeous. This is my second one ever, really. The first one, I didn't know what it was. At first, I thought it might have been a, a young halibut or something, and then later looked it up and it was a trolley sole. But these the spots were like a little bluer. Gorgeous flat foot. I keep wanting to say flat footed. Flat fish. I've never eaten one of these things, so you know, I'm curious. This, it, it, from what I read, just right now, we're looking up the regulations, it's one of the mo more tastier flat fish. So we're gonna go try it out. This, a trolley. So look at these little two eyes on one side. The good thing is that we caught an eatable fish. The bad thing is what I caught it on was our last squid. Hey, how's it going, Frank? Good, how's it going up here? All right, I caught a Petrali sole. You got a uh, what? A Petrali sole, like the flounder. Oh, you got a flounder, huh? Yeah, the Petrali Soul. Oh, cool, yeah, no, I'm just working inside here about 40 feet. It's a pretty good current, so I gotta find it pretty strong to keep doing any kind of trolling. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, a couple of big mackerel for me, but nothing, but nothing the right size so far. I've gotten three huge mackerel, but I haven't got any really good ones yet. Yeah, I, I, I'm still trolling that one mackerel. Nothing's hit it yet. The Petrali Soul. Uh, hit on the squid with the hoochie. Oh, really? Cool. Yeah, and I'm out of squid, so I'm trying to catch some other bait. Yeah, yeah, you, you can see that, that you're working that, that current's really hitting you pretty hard out there. Oh, 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 that's a fish, that's a fish, that's a fish, that's a fish. Oh, no, it came off. Oh, it came off. No. That was a halibut. No, it broke off. Oh, it snapped the whole freaking. Oh, that must have been a big one. 
on the mackerel. What the heck? Wow. Oh, darn. That was a good one. I was trying to reel up the sabiki because I don't want to get the sabiki all tangled up and everything. Gosh, dang it. I can't believe that just happened. Wow, we lost a halibut. That was a halibut for sure. And I got absolutely no bait. So we're gonna be straight chilling until we find some bait. Oh yeah. Yeah, we got some mackerel. Finally, a big old mackerel. This is perfect bait, got some lizard fish. Oh, this is huge. A huge mackerel. We'll put that on the bigger setup for now. Oh, oh. Oh, that's a fish, that's a fish, that's a fish, that's a fish. That's a fish. Yep. Yep. Oh, that's a halibut. Oh, that's a heavy halibut. That is a halibut, baby. Oh, yes, yes, yes. On the big mackerel. On the big, hoo, hoo, hoo. On the big mackerel. 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 Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Hoo. Oh. Oh yes, 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 yes. Big mackerel. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Gaff ready. Gaff ready. Yep. 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 Oh. Oh! Don't go that way. Don't go that way. Oh. Okay, there. Ho, ho, ho. All right, come on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Yes, let's go! Woo! Whoa! Oh my gosh. I'm tangled up with the GoPro. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. There you go. Oy. Oof. That's a good halibut. That's a good halibut, baby. Oh, what am I stuck on? Oh. Oh, on the paddle. Yes! Let's go. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. sucker! Wow! Let's go! Let's go! Big mackerel! Oh man, let's get him on the stringer. Let's get him on the stringer. We gotta bonk this guy first. Whew. Got a little baseball bat. Oh, what is this guy? Thirty-three inch halibut. Not my PB, but pretty darn close. Wow. Let's go, let's go. To start, we're gonna throw in three tortillas. Cut the halibut in a chunk, so we're gonna give it that chubby cheeks dusting. Oh yeah, I'm gonna flip these guys over. The tortillas are almost to be flipped as well. And we'll dust this side too. Ooh, look at that. Let's flip these tortillas. The tortillas are done. We're gonna hit the pan with our butter. And let's take our halibut. Boom, got the nice spread. The house is cooking up nice, so it's smelling so good. 
Now we just gotta add the coleslaw and the sauce. We got our tacos, our halibut tacos. Oh, look how perfect that looks. Look at that, the sauce and everything. Mmm. Now that is delicious. Mmm. Mm. Kind of in this area, there were like five whales. It's pretty neat to just kick back, cook up some fish that you caught, watch some whales. Mm. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you all for watching. And until next time, <laughs> we'll see you on the next episode. Peace.